Hi everyone, welcome along to today's video. Quite a simple, straightforward question really. Which saves you more money when you run your heating? Is it one of these, the wet central heating radiator, or one of these, the electric oil filled radiator? Now, I know most of you are going to go, it's got to be the wet central heating gas boiler. It's always going to be cheaper. But I've had a couple of things wrote to me lately from guys that reckon a little bit different. Now, one chap was telling me that he has got wet central heating as usual, you know, gas boiler and about six or seven rads. And what he does is he sets his thermostat to 18 degrees. So it, it only comes on when it really gets below that. So it's not a comfortable temperature to sit around on. So it means it doesn't come on until it's about 17 and then gets it back to 18. But in the daytime, it doesn't seem to be such a hassle. In the evening, obviously that's when it gets colder. Now he reckons that he has one of those electric oil heaters in his main front room. And what he does is he puts that on in the evening when he's watching TV. Or even the daytime if he's around and it's dropped a bit cold. And he reckons that it's actually cheaper. Now, obviously it depends on a lot of things like how large your front room was or your living room or whatever room you want to use it. Obviously a large room, one of those is never going to be enough. So I money can gather that it's for an average size home with not too large a living room if you're running one in there. He says the other good thing with it is that you can pull it around um, on the lead and have it right in front of you. Uh, his radiator is behind a chair and a table at one end of the room and he finds he gets cold anyway with it on. Uh, it's not that good, it's heating. He's got one rad at one end and one at the other end and a window uh, with nothing under it and it gets cold. So he finds it much better to do this and he's worked it out on his smart meter and he says it is definitely cheaper. So that's that's one option. So what's, what's the other thing then? Now someone else said to me that they've only ever used one central heating radiator in the room that they are using. And we'll say that is the living room or the dining room or whatever it is. Every other rad in the house is turned off. <laughs> Seems a bit strange, doesn't it? But it said that's the only way they can possibly afford to run the central heating. And they said they've got one of these electric oil heater things in and said the same that they turn that front room rad off turn the heating off altogether and just use that and find that it's actually better now whether the fact is with essential heating even though all the rads are off except for the one they're using you still got to heat the boiler you still got to heat the pipes leading to and fro around the system and that's outweighing the advantages of it being gas i'm not sure uh, it's just what i've been told so i figured it was some good talking point to err on about and i'm sure you've all got your own opinions on this so it's one of those things i've not tried it out but if you've got smart meters uh, it's something that you can actually try isn't it and see if it works out if you can get hold of one now i assume that these heaters are switched down as low as they can be um, on the economy so it's still warm enough for the room don't be wrong but not sort of full blast we've got one as you can see on that start bit of the video there um, that jane uses in her little room uh, to do her office work with in the daytime if it gets cold because it's right by a window where there's no radiator <laughs> and we use it there and find it's pretty good but I'm not sure about how cost effective it is anyway there you are one thing to talk about get back to me on your ideas and thoughts about it and that's about it all my stuff usual place Derek and 33 thanks for watching guys bye bye